Today, I'm going to be covering some Funko Q1 sales, Funko Ween 2.0 reveals, and a brand new product line from Funko, and it all starts right now. Hey, what's going on guys, Podmaster here. I don't have a whole lot to say, so let's just get straight into the video. So the first thing I wanted to talk about today was an article that they viewed exclusively on toybook.com talking about Funko's Q1 financial sales, as well as the upcoming Funko Ween product reveals. So I'm not gonna get too into the numbers here so you guys don't get bored to death, but here's what you need to know. So Funko reported a 38% spike in net sales to $189.2 million. That was compared to $136.7 million in the same quarter last year. Furthermore, sales of Funko's signature pop brand grew 33%, while well, Loungefly and other non-figure products, including games, plush, and accessories, spiked 52% during this quarter, which is pretty crazy because for a very, very long time, Funko's had a lot of issues with marketing their non-pop products, whether it be finals, mystery minis, Loungefly bags, whatever. So it's really interesting to see that even during this pandemic strapped economy where people don't have as much spending power that those non-pop brands are still getting a lot of sales. And that's, yeah, that's really crazy considering they weren't very popular before. So I'm not quite sure why this is. I'm guessing it's probably because of the Funko Pop pins because those are non-pop products and presumably count towards a number. And I've seen a lot of people getting really into them. And especially on the Loungefly website, they have these exclusive pin drops every month, one of which I'm gonna be opening up very soon on my channel. So it's not only that, but some of the regular pins as well, they're probably driving traffic to the site so people are there. Maybe they're buying some handbags as well. I don't know. But anyway, that's pretty cool. So I'm really happy to see that those non-pop products are doing well in addition to the regular pop products that Funko is known for. Next up, I want to talk about the Funko Ween 2.0 reveals. So if you guys didn't know, last year Funko had an event called Funko Ween in May, and that was to mark the halfway point between the last Halloween and next Halloween which is usually the May of each year or maybe June. I don't know the exact six, six month date. But anyway, they reveal a bunch of their Halloween themed Funko products that usually debut in August of September of that year in the lead up to, well, Halloween. So this year they're doing that exact same event again and they said in the article here, beginning on May 24th, Funko will celebrate the halfway mark to Halloween with the return of Funko Ween, a virtual event across Funko social channels that will offer previews of new product lines, like I just said, set to the view this fall. This year, the toy book will exclusively reveal a brand new product line, more on that in just a second, during the event, which is designed to bring Funko fanatics together through digital activations, shopping, and partnerships with key licensors, retailers, and media. The article is very thin on specifics when it comes to those last couple things in that last sentence, but I'll make sure to update you guys as we get closer to the actual Funko Ween event so you guys know exactly what is going on. And the article just ends here with a quote from Brian Mariotti, which I'm not going to read to you. Again, I'll link this article in the description below if you want to read the full thing, just talking about Funko Ween and the effects of COVID on the company. Not really anything I want to cover in this video. And that is a perfect segue into the next thing I want to talk about, which wasn't in my main discussion points, but I saw it on Twitter today and I really wanted to talk about it with you guys. So, so this guy who I follow out on Twitter by the name of Funko Miwo, I said that right, I think, posted this really cool thing out on his Twitter account, and it was a it was a ginormous, I'm talking truck-sized, Freddy Funko Vampire Soda being offloaded at the Funko Hollywood store, and I'm presuming that's it. And I'm presuming it is at the Funko Hollywood store because of the palm trees in the background of the image. I thought that was really cool. I'm not sure what that's actually for. Maybe it's a photo op in the actual HQ, or maybe they're doing something like they did at the Everett store where they have those ginormous Funko Pops that are outside the HQ and on the street kind of decorating the roofs of the building. So maybe they could be doing that same exact thing here where they have a, a couple soda cans on the roof of the actual HQ or at least some sort of awning outside of the roof. So that'd be really cool. Again, I'm not quite sure what that is or maybe it's just a ginormous thing that has sodas in it. So it's, so it's a soda can that has little soda cans inside the big soda can, if that makes sense. So you like re reach in there and grab a soda. I don't fully know, but I thought it was really cool and I wanted to bring it up here. And it could hint towards our first Funko Ween product reveal, which very well could be a Freddy Funko Vampire Soda. Let me know down in the comments below what you think a potential chase variant of that soda could look like. Moving on to my last point, I wanted to talk about that mysterious product line that the Toy Book article mentions but doesn't give any specific details on. So this new product line is called Funko Gold. And according to a Nerdy Dad's official description that he found, Funko's new premium vinyl line will feature form factor collectibles that focus on iconic musicians and star athletes from the NFL and NBA, giving collectors and fans alike a new way to showcase their love for their favorite artist or sports hero. 
While no official release date has been announced, we've been told that the first wave of gold figures will be sold at mass retail as well as on Funko.com later this year. So obviously before the end of the 2021 calendar year, you should be able to buy these for your own collection. The figures are said to be available in two sizes, 5-inch figures from $9.99, basically the same price as a normal Funko Pop, as well as 12-inch figures for $24.99. And $24.99 is essentially the same price as a 6-inch Funko Pop, so I thought that was pretty interesting how they did that there. And the first wave of figures is shown on the a Nerdy Dad Instagram account, and it has several basketball players, including LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, John Satsantacumpo, James Harden, as well as several NFL players including Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, those kind of guys. And those all appear to be the five inch variety because on the left hand side of that same image, hopefully I've put it on the screen by now, we can see a figure of the notorious B.I.G. And that figure appears to look a little bit bigger than all the other ones that are on that same image. So that's probably the 12 inch figure, whereas the other ones are only the five inch figure. So that is that. Again, I'll make sure to link to the actual article that Nerdy Dad got the information from in the description below so you guys can read it out in full. But personally, I am not too excited for this new line. I think the figures have a very strange design to them. They don't look very accurate to the actual characters that they're meant to represent. And they're, I don't like the whole... I also don't like the overall blocky shape of the arms and how they attach to the actual arm sockets. It just looks really weird for me, so I probably won't be picking these up despite the price point being... A lot more reasonable than some of Funko's other pro products. I'm talking about Mystery Minis and Sodas, which in my opinion are extremely overpriced, but that's a discussion for another video. If you guys want to see me talk about some more Funko news and general updates about the company, make sure to click the video at the top of the screen right now. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.